Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is another update to my Club 100. It can also be considered a Project 100 uses. I'm just trying to take the majority of my makeup products and reach for them at least 100 times, especially those more long-term products that take much longer to go through. I have a pretty decent mix of different products this time around. I do have one skincare item, and then the rest is a mix of palettes and cheek products and lip products. Let's start with the skincare product. Let's get that one out of the way. It's the Pixi Hydrating Milky Lotion. I purchased this because I'm a really big fan of the Milky Mist from this brand, and I did purchase a really big size of that one. I saw that this was available. I thought since I like the mist, I might like the lotion. It is a lotion consistency. It's thinner than a lot of the moisturizers I have and prefer, so it's something that I mix with oils. It does act as a really great mixer for that. Like I said, I purchased the Milky Mist with this and when I went back to use that again after loving it so many years ago I just have found that I don't prefer facial mists that have a really strong scent and I do consider the Pixi Milky Mist to have a strong scent. I really like the one from Hylamide. I don't find that that one has any scent and it doesn't have any added fragrance or anything and I really like that so I think I'll just stick to that from now on. I found that this lotion does have the same scent that the Milky Mist does. If you like the Milky Mist then you will like the scent of this as well. I will give Pixie props though. You get four and a half fluid ounces and you are able to get like 20% off the website on occasion. So considering some of the more expensive moisturizers that I like better this is definitely a better deal, a better value. And if you have a different skin type, if you prefer more lightweight moisturizers or you do like lightweight lotions that mix well with other skincare products, this might be for you. I'll happily use it up, but it's definitely not something that I'm gonna buy again. Now let's talk about lip products. I think it's like half lip products, half everything else. The first one I wanna talk about, it's probably no surprise, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Bath in the shade Pillow Talk. I really like this and I'm upset it's $35 because I don't plan on spending that. Unless I'm really feeling splurgy, I really wanna treat myself. I don't see myself buying this again to keep it in my life. This was exceptional during the winter when my lips are more dry. It has a slight minty feeling, which I'm usually not a fan of, but in some lip products, I'm willing to let it slide. For example, the Catrice Volumizing Lip Balms, those also have a little bit of lip, a minty feel to them, but I let it slide because I really like the formula. Same with this one. Someone in the comments of my Partners in Cream update mentioned that the Kylie lip glosses, the Kylie Cosmetics lip glosses, are very similar in formula to this. I guess if there are any other brands that <laughs> have a similar lip formula, doesn't have to be minty or anything, just have the same formula and maybe a, sim a similar color, I would really appreciate you sharing that information with me so that I can try to find a more affordable version of this and maybe I can find a couple alternatives before this one is gone so I can actually test them side by side. And for fun, I am gonna give you the actual number of uses because I do track that. If you're curious how I track my makeup uses, I use a Google spreadsheet and I will link the video where I show you how I track like pretty much everything regarding my channel and my makeup. So for the Pixi face cream, I've used this 141 times. And for the Charlotte Tilbury lip bath, I've used this 117 times. I have another lip gloss formula to share with you. It's from Tower 28, it's their lip jellies. I did purchase that four piece sampler set during the holidays and it came in four different colors. They don't really look too different on the lips because it is a more sheer color. And I used up Fearless, which is the purple one. I'm almost finished with this one in the shade Fire, which is orangey. And then I have XOXO, which is this pinky red. And then the clear one is in the shade Chill. And I found that um, the Fearless shade that I used up took me approximately 65 uses to finish. I did take out the stopper and use it like a handful more times after that to get everything. And if you can see, this orange shade is almost finished as well. So if we use our math, 60 plus uses times two of these is definitely well over 100 uses. These are not as thick and nourishing as the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Bath, but they are still really nice and nourishing. They don't have any taste or smell, which I'm a big fan of. And I do like that the brighter colors aren't super pigmented. The orange one I found um, would have a slightly orangey tint to it on my lips, but not as opaque as it looked in the packaging. The next lip product is not a gloss, it's a tinted lip balm from ColourPop, the Just a Tint in the shade The Strand. I have used this over a hundred times. It's currently my Partners in Cream project pan. And the color is quite similar to the lip product I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the NYX Bedrose Lip Liner with ABH Soft Pink, the matte lipstick over it. And the color is actually quite similar. It would just have a different finish. This would be more glossy. I really enjoyed using it. I wouldn't purchase it again. 
even though I would be curious to try other shades just because of the strong fruity scent and it does kind of have a taste to it as well. I did go through this a little bit more quickly than other lip products. I think that's just because of the formula. It's something that I can reapply, but I am glad to report that I got over 100 uses out of this. My last lip product is a lip pencil. I'm surprised I haven't featured it in a video before because I have definitely used this over probably 200 times at this point. It's a lip liner from NYX in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. I think color-wise, this is very, very similar to Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk lip liner. The formulas are slightly different. This is more creamy and the Charlotte Tilbury one is more dry. And I think at the end of the day, I do still prefer the Charlotte Tilbury one, but this is also great. I love the NYX lip pencil formula. Like I said, I'm wearing the shade Bed Rose on my lips today. And this is my second lip pencil. I used up one last year, repurchased it because I didn't want to have it not in my collection. It's not often that I run out and repurchase a product whenever it's gone, so I think that speaks very highly for this product. And I can't give you an exact amount of how many times I've used all of these pencils, both pencils, but this one individually I have used 59 times. I have one base product and it is a foundation that unfortunately is discontinued. It's the Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay. This is my second bottle and this one I've already used 81 times. It's probably not useful for me to give a review of this product because it isn't something that I can recommend you try. I do know that a lot of brands have similar formulas to this and I am in the process of trying to figure out what they are. I'm starting with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. I'd like to also try the Woma Beauty Foundation and maybe a couple others that I hear have similar formulas. I'm enjoying it while I have it. I'm wearing it today mixed in with another foundation which is how I like to use this as a mixer. And yeah, it's a bittersweet experience to enjoy it while I use it but know that I can't repurchase it whenever it's gone. The next product is a cream highlighter stick and it is I think the only non-cruelty free product I'll talk about today. It's one of the few not cruelty free products in my collection and it's the Benefit What's Up. This is a mini I got as a gift with purchase years ago. It was kind of just sitting in the back of my highlighter drawer. I kind of forgot about it. And I want to finish it before the formula dries up or goes bad. I'm getting a decent amount of use out of this. This little guy I've already gotten 47 uses out of and I have used up a full size of this in the past. I think that was in one of my first project pans ever back in 2017. There is something special about this color and the formula. I haven't been able to find anything similar to it and it's one of the few cream highlighter sticks that I can actually apply on top of foundation without it disrupting the makeup underneath. Right now I'm using it under foundation, kind of like as a glowy priming product. Really loving it for that. If you do know of a maybe more affordable and cruelty-free version of this shade or formula, please let me know. I have another base product. It's a bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. It's from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo. I'm in the shade light to medium and I did take it out of the packaging and repress it into its own bronzer packaging. This is an old Too Faced bronzer and I have actually hit pan on it since repressing it, but I have mentioned in past videos that when I repress products, for some reason the outer edges are really thick and the middle part's super thin, so it's really easy to hit pan on it again. I have used this bronzer 113 times. I still feel like I have a ton of product left. I don't need a lot whenever I use it. And it's not a super soft formula that kicks up a lot of powder, so I think it's something that's gonna take forever to actually finish. I would like to finish this by the end of the year. I am trying to pan a couple other bronzers as well in my current project pan, so I'm not sure how feasible that goal is just yet. I do use a lot of bronzer and I use even more of it in the summertime, so odds are looking pretty good. This is one of my oldest bronzers that I have. I've also made quite a dip in the highlighter. I think I talked about this in my Club 100 update last time. I like it because it's not super orangey. It definitely has a more neutral, leaning, cool color undertone to it, but there are so many other bronzers out there that I want to try, so I don't think it's something I need to repurchase right away, but I do like it and I'm enjoying it while I have it. The next two products are eyeshadow palettes. I'm really glad to be getting so much use out of my eyeshadow palettes. I don't have a super large palette collection, but I find that I do have some palettes that I really like in theory, but then I never actually reach for them enough to feel like I'm getting a lot of use out of them. The first one you're not going to be surprised at all, I feel like I talk about this palette all the time, is the Natural Nudes palette from Too Faced. I just really like the color story and I love the matte formula from this. I have gotten it a couple times in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project and I think that's what helped me hit 100 uses so quickly, especially since this is one of my newer palettes. I only got it last summer. 
I won't bore you by going into super detail about this palette again. I just really like the formula and it is a great builder palette if I want to create a more colorful look but I want something to ground it or I just want to warm it up in some way. If you'd like to see it in action, I did use this eyeshadow palette doing my makeup for my engagement photo shoot, so I'll have that linked in the cards. Big fan, and I've used this 112 times. And the next one is from Shroud Cosmetics. It's the Creepy Cute Palette, and I've actually hit a lot of pan in here, and pan on shades that I wouldn't actually think I'd ever hit pan on, like this aqua green here, Creep It Real. I've used this exactly 100 times, and I think the reason I was able to hit 100 on such a colorful palette is number one, it's pastel. So they're a little bit easier for me to pull off than like bright, vibrant neon colors. But another reason I did hit 100 as quickly as I did is because these two shades here, Planchet and Strawberry Milk, this pink and purple here, I randomly selected these in my Pan Those Eyeshadows update number one that I ever did, which I think was in 2019 and I hadn't even gotten the palette yet it was still coming to me in the mail <laughs> so right as this came in the mail I was using it immediately trying to use these two shades and up to hit pan I don't have a ton of super colorful eyeshadows but when I do I like to have pastels even if it's just to kind of start building the color I especially love this orange color I think this goes lovely with reds with yellows with pinks even with browns just to create like more of a chocolatey brown type of look beautiful palette I don't imagine I'll get a ton of use out of this black eyeshadow just because that's not my style but I am really glad I have this palette and I'm glad to have reached 100 uses on it. So those are all of my products I had to talk about today. I used to do 15 products at a time but I found that it was taking too long to do updates and a lot of the products that I used 100 times by the time I was ready to do an update I had already finished them and I feel like that's not as fun. I do already have a handful of products that are really close to 100 even more eyeshadow palettes which I'm really excited about. I know a couple people are doing project 100 use type of videos. Chic Geek does one, Beauty Bees as well so I'll try to find those versions and have them in the description box in case you're curious to watch more content like this. But in the meantime that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!